Hello everyone and welcome to Javelin Technologies intro video to SolidWorks Industrial Design. This is the first video in the series of learning the fundamentals of Industrial Designer. At this point, I'm assuming you already have the software downloaded and are ready to go. If not, refer to the emails you received from Javelin and Dassault Systems and follow the required steps. The key commands you'll use are all at the bottom of the screen. To make things easier to learn, let's turn on the tool descriptions. Right click the toolbar and select both sections with labels and icons with labels. When navigating the toolbar, note that the arrows in each tab hold more commands. To change toolbars, you can select the name of the tools or scroll using your mouse wheel. If you accidentally wonder where your toolbar disappeared to, don't panic. You can get it back by pressing the up arrow in the bottom right of your screen. Let's discuss a little more about changing your view. There is a view toolbar, but the most common commands are accessible with your middle mouse button or hotkeys. Hold down the middle mouse button and move your mouse to rotate. You can also hold down Alt shift or control at the same time to spin, pan, and zoom. If you desire a specific view angle, the quickest way is to press spacebar and select it from the view selector. The end key is also the quickest way to view normal to a face or a sketch plane. The left side of your screen holds the design tree. It can be shown and hidden with the arrow on the left. You can rename the project by slow double clicking the physical product and typing the appropriate name. To change the visibility of your object, you can click the eye on the left column. Anything that is hidden can be quickly accessed by the page curl on the bottom right of your screen. You can change the visibility from the graphics area as well by clicking on the objects and selecting the same eye icon. Click the page curl again to reverse back to the regular design visibility. To start a new design, hover over the plus icon on the top right of the screen and create a new physical product. To save your project, move to the right facing arrows and choose save. And when you are finished with a file, press the export button. This will allow you to save a copy to your computer for future reuse. If you hover to the right of your screen, you can access the 3D Swim community. This is where you can access blogs, media, and eye questions. You can also share your photos to customers or clients through here. We'll go into more depth with this in a future video. The last thing I would like to talk about is finding your saved designs. In the toolbar at the top, you can access your content by either typing it by its name or searching through My Content. By right-clicking and selecting Open, you can access your design for editing purposes. Alternatively, if you were to click on your design rather than right-click, you will access it in Explore mode, meaning you cannot edit the part. That is a simple fix, however, just click Open on the toolbar and is ready to be edited. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next video in the series, which will be concept sketching. If you found this video useful, don't forget to share it and give us a thumbs up. Also, if you are not already, please subscribe to be notified when we upload more useful videos to this channel. Thank you.